Hi, I'm Bill Kemp, the home exterior guru. I'm here today to talk to you about vinyl siding. There's been a lot of interest out here in insulated vinyl siding versus hollow back vinyl siding. So what I want to do is I have a home here that we've done uh, with the insulated vinyl siding, but first I would like to just give you a little comparison so that you have a better understanding of the two. If you walk with me over here, you can see this is a piece of the typical, uh, what we call hollow back vinyl siding. Hollow back vinyl siding meaning it has no insulation on the back, it just has this uh, normal cut or molded piece of manufactured siding, okay? The challenge with this siding is it is going to do this when you install it or try to hold it, okay? This is normal vinyl siding here. And, you know, folks, not to put down this piece of siding particularly because this is actually a good type of vinyl siding here, a good piece, uh, a good manufacturer here per se. But what happens is when you install vinyl siding on a home, you can see how flexible this siding is. This siding will literally follow the curves on your home or the waves. So if your home is not perfectly square, you will have rippling in the wall of the vinyl siding. Okay? Now, to go behind that siding, typically what they use is some type of uh, Armacore insulation. This is a very thin type of insulating board and it really is supposed to just uh, flatten the walls and helps cut out, cut down on the moisture that would go between the siding uh, from the outside into the inside wall of the home. Uh, so this is what you end up with, something like this that goes behind the actual vinyl siding like so. Okay, so they nail this on and then this goes over top. Okay, now what we do here is we have found this insulating board here called the Prodigy insulating board. And the Prodigy insulating board looks like this when you hold it. It looks like a true insulated sided panel. Okay, the, also the back side of the Prodigy panel looks like this. So you have a full insulated panel that is connected to the actual siding itself. So you don't have to worry about this going up uh, in small pieces or you don't have to worry about it uh, being too, too thin across the back of the home. But what you'll find is this is going to make that wall flatten out tremendously. And you're going to end up with a very insulated wall and a very solid piece of vinyl siding. One of the major challenges that people find when they go to put some siding on their home is when you push on it, it feels weak and it gives. Well, we're going to see in a very few seconds how this siding looks on the home and how it compares to some of the other types of hollow back sidings on it. So if you follow me around here, we'll take a look at this. Now right next door we have uh, what we call the hollow back vinyl siding. And on the hollow back, you see how the siding gives very easily with very little effort. That siding gives, okay? Also, you can see how the siding does that. That's called oxidizing. That's when vinyl siding can break down just like aluminum siding can break down. That's simply the, uh, the paint and the pigment modifiers that they put in the siding is actually starting to break down. Also, it usually means that this siding is not what we call steadfast, okay? Now, if we look at um, the Prodigy insulated siding, you find that this panel does not give at all. Okay? In fact, it's a very solid wall there that, uh, that, that we're pushing on. You know, I mean, all of my weight, and I weigh, uh, you know, a good 110 pounds, <laughs> right? Uh, pushing on this siding, just not going to give at all. Okay? If you look at the wall here, you also see that the wall is fairly straight uh, and it takes out any waves that you would normally find in the home, okay? Now, hopefully this helps you. This is a good comparison between hollow back vinyl siding and insulated prodigy siding. If you'd like more information, please uh, fill out your name and uh, email address below and uh, I'll get back to you with more information. Thank you very much.